pressure Really the hottest nigga You gon' respect this lava I'm shooting it if I pull it Boy, make sure you want this drama I bring it to you like it's law and order SVU Turn you to a vegetable Now you look good inside a soup Family come from Bishopville But I grew up in that Bronx Zoo Where they shoot you dead in the street And then dance all on top of you And I do what I got what up, y'all? Stand on my AK, the Global Dark Skin Ambassador, with another Rikers Island story. And I want to talk about the Mellow Blood set, but before I get to that, I've been checking my analytics and I can tell that most of you who watch my videos are either not subscribed or have not hit the notification bell. I need y'all to subscribe right now and hit the notification bell so these videos will go out to the people who really need to see these videos and really want to see these videos, okay? The algorithm is big on this. But let's get back to this video now. The Miller Bloods was the biggest blood movement that i ever seen, period, in my life, especially in Rikers Island. Um, I don't know if it's spelled M-I-L-L-A or M-I-L-L. E R. I'm not a, a blood set connoisseur. I'm only speaking off of what I know and what I've seen. And what I've seen was, was that within my year and a half of being in Rikers Island, like that first six to eight months, maybe even the first year, the Millers, the Millers had it. They had everything on Smash. Yes, you had whatever other blood set. They was doing their thing too. But when it comes to the influx of numbers and then the fact that a lot of dudes was coming in as a different blood set and ended up turning Mella because dudes who they was respecting was Mella and they was being turned Mella. It was just a big, big, big wave. It was just a big, big, big wave. And for a fact, for a fact, most cribs in C74, speaking for adolescent side, at, at a specific point in time, it wasn't just the people who run into a blood and all blood and YG. They were either Miller blood or blood and YG. Miller bloods had every crib or almost every crib at some point. You know, it 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 is what it is. They just they had it on Smash. It was a lot of them. It was a lot. Even when when I was in Five Main, I know on the other side, on the other side, it was. One dude who was Miller who had it, and the other dude was Miller and YG. And YG. Like, of course, the, the, the Young Gunners, they had a piece of everything no matter who was what because they, they had a bigger wave than the Millers because they had dudes that was Crip that was YG, dudes that was Pot, yeah, that was YG, dudes that was Latin King that was YG, dudes that was Blood that was YG. Every kind of gang had somebody that was YG, and YG was really becoming like an originated, an originated like East Coast version of the Blood slash Chris. But you know the the OG, the OG Bloods, they and all the OGs from all the other gangs, they killed that mingling with the YG stuff. Once you went up north, you know, of course, I said this before, you either had to choose your original gang or you was faced with a series of unfortunate events. And nine out of ten dudes, they did not want to face a series of unfortunate events. Like I said, the Millers had a hand in everything. At one point, all of the most feared bloods in C-74 Rikers Island was all Miller. All Miller. I don't know how this was happening, who was putting people down with who, but I know that the Millers, the Millers was really doing their thing and they were standing strong. Strong with a K. They were standing strong and it was a lot of them. 
It was a lot of them. Like, you might go in one random crib, you know, the dude who got it is Miller, the other dude who got it is Miller, and the three, four other dudes on the team is all Miller. Or maybe, or maybe it might be another set, but that's how it was in some of the cribs, you know. Miller's had a piece of everything at one point, you know. They had a piece of, I don't know what happened, um, why they wave stopped being a wave. But I know when I was 17, 18, and I was in Rikers Island, they was them niggas. They really, really, really was. Even to the point where it just so happened that, I believe when the one main thing happened with Ice, I already mentioned last week in the video that, I knew Fire Miller, who got caught up in that situation. But I believe it may have been one or two other bloods that was Miller, who has some who got caught up in the riffraff of that. Don't quote me on that. That's speculation. But I'm seventy six percent sure that that's what, that 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 happened. You know, they was a real wave full of monsters. Dudes that was known for putting in work, dudes who could fight real good, dudes that was locked up for murders and attempt murders and gun charges. It was a real thing, and they was not to be played with. They really wasn't, you know what I'm saying? And that's all I can tell you about the Millers right now. It's hard to find dudes that either is Miller now or was Miller. Of course, dudes who used to be Miller and they're another blood set, they're not about to come on camera and, and talk about that. But it's been hard to find dudes that's still Miller that's willing to, like, talk about. Maybe a lot of them is up north. I don't know. But due to that, I can't really... It's only so much I can say besides the fact that when I was there, they had a hand and everything, and they was, they was tearing it up. They really was. They really was. Like, share, come subscribe. Send a super thanks if you really rock with me, man. Instead of, you know, taking that money to trick off on a woman or buy some weed and alcohol that you don't need. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, come subscribe. Peace.